what's up everybody this is Mike and I'm back again with another CES 2018 video if you haven't watched it yet make sure to go back and watch my latest video which I released just yesterday it was all about the DJI Tello the newest toy drone released by Rise and DJI it was very interesting for me how you guys are going to react to this video as DJI has never uh, made such a cheap drone so um, Plenty of guys, of you guys reacted saying that you're probably going to get this for your children, from, for your grandchildren and that's very cool. I think it's great that we are going to um, let the little guys in our families enjoy the hobby as well and teach them how to fly drones. So that's exciting. But anyway, today's topic is a bit different. It's not DJI related and it's actually about a competitor of DJI called Altel Robotics and their latest drone that has just been announced during CES 2018. The drone is called the Evo. Now, there have been many people that uh, already put a sticker to that drone being the Mavic clone or the Mavic killer or whatever it might be. Um, and I really don't like that as the, the drone has just been announced. It's not released yet. Most of the people don't really know anything about the drone, but they already have their um, assumptions. And I don't like that. And, and in today's video, I'm going to try to give you uh, a bit more information about the Evo. So hopefully you can form your own opinion and don't be a sheep and listen to uh, anybody else. So I'm going to roll the announcement clip so you can see what the Evo has to offer and then we'll talk about it a bit more. Let's go. Okay, so that was the announcement video for the Alter Robotics EVO. Let me know in the comments what do you think about that drone. But uh, I personally love the orange color. It's, uh, it's become their trademark already. Uh, if you remember the X-Star Premium, this is one of the most famous drones that they have to offer. And this has the same orange color and continues the tradition for Altel Robotics. If you're not familiar, Altel Robotics are a USA-based company. They're based in Seattle and uh, they're famous for their customer service. So these guys really love drones. They love flying drones and uh, they have amazing customer service. I've heard that they have a seven day um, uh, customer service. You are able to pick up the phone and call them during um, every single day, even holidays, and they will pick up the phone and answer and give you directions what to do if you have any problems. So that's the major plus for uh, Alto Robotics. This is something that unfortunately DJI um, is not uh, known for. Uh, actually, they're known for uh, their bad reputation when it comes to um, customer service. So this is something that could be interesting for some of you guys that might be very important for you. So. Um, Remember that they have amazing customer service and they are good at uh, taking calls and uh, stuff like that every single day, even during holidays. Now, there is something more that I want to talk about and it's uh, basically features that were not announced during the announcement video of the EVO. Uh, I watched a couple of um, CES videos about Autel Robotics and the EVO in um, 
in detail. So uh, I wanted to give you guys more information that hopefully will uh, make your opinion about the EVO uh, a bit more solid. So uh, first of all, I want to talk about the flight time. It's 30 minutes and it um, actually, as we all know, it's um, advertised as 30 minutes, but it will probably be about 25, 26, which is again, very solid. Uh, next, we have obstacle avoidance sensors in the front, in the back and on the bottom of the drone. Plus, we have front-facing computer vision cameras. Now, this is something very, very interesting as we have seen in the announcement video that the drone actually makes a turn around a tree once it uh, senses it's, it has an obstacle in its way. So it's very interesting that those front-facing cameras actually are uh, 3D and they form uh, a model of the world uh, around the drone and they can recognize the shapes of the obstacles around them. So the drone actually makes a decision every single time it senses an obstacle. It sees uh, where is the best way to uh, go around that obstacles and it takes that way. So if it follows you, it will just take the best way and it will continue to follow you. So that's something that um, is really exciting, something that we haven't seen. It's not a regular infrared sensor that senses the obstacles and just stops. It, it turns around and um, continues to fly. So that's something that I definitely like. And then again, we have the same uh, two cameras that we have in the front. We have them on the bottom of the drone and they do the same job when you land. So if there's obstacle on your way when you're landing, again, the drone will um, pick a better place very close to your locations that you, have, that you have chosen and it will land there. So that's, uh, you know, something great. I think it's a, um, a technology that we haven't seen until now in such a portable drone. Uh, next, we have a 4K video capable of 60 frames per second. And uh, if that's not amazing, I don't know what is. This is the dream of every filmmaker to have 4K in 60 frames per second uh, coming up in a drone that fits uh, in your backpack. I mean, it's, it's a great thing to have. I'm really, really stoked about this. And uh, finally, we have a remote controller that we haven't seen in the announcement video, but I saw it in one of the uh, videos that I watched about the Evo, and I'm going to link it below if you want to watch it yourself. Uh, but it shows that the remote controller actually has a screen on itself. It has a 3.3 OLED um, screen, 3.3 inch, uh, that shows you a, a video feed. So you can double that feed with the one that you have uh, on your phone. So uh, uh, if in case something happens to your phone, you have the feed on your remote controller. So it, it's built in and you can use that. Of course, it's not enough as it's 3.3 inches only, but it's nice to have it and you can uh, basically program it to do different things. So that's something interesting that of course the Mavic Pro doesn't have or the Spark or the Phantom 4. Um, actually the Phantom 4 Pro Plus has um, the built-in display, but it's uh, you know, it's a different type of display. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys this um, quick little information as I really didn't like the comments that I saw about the announcement video of the Autel uh, Robotics Evo as I'm really stoked about this drone um, and I'm hoping that it will live up to our expectations. Uh, it's set up to be uh, just under $1,000, which I can promise you is going to be $999. Uh, so for that price, I think it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a fair competitor to the Mavic Pro. Of course, it's a newer model, so uh, it, it has a couple of things that the Mavic Pro doesn't have. So uh, I think it's great for the competition in the drone world to have a product like this that promises to be something uh, different and something a bit better than uh, the products uh, from DJI that are um, released as of now. So uh, who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll have a Mavic Pro 2 announcement and all of this will go, uh, <laughs> will go away completely if the Mavic Pro 2 uh, blows this out of the water. We never know, but as of now, uh, I'm excited for this drone and it's set up to be released in a couple of months. As soon as they have it ready for shipping, they will announce it officially and will be ready to order. And um, yeah, that's something that I wanted to share with you guys. It's a very quick little video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys 
don't really um, make your opinion just because somebody else said something. Watch the video, um, read as much information as you can and form your own opinion. Don't be a sheep. So uh, this is something that I wanted to tell you guys. I hope you understand and I hope you like this kind of video. Please let me know in the comments below if you did and like the video of course. Uh, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon in my next video. Ciao!